What up, y'all? It's your man, Apple American. It was good. I want to talk about the gender pay gap. Now, as we know, um, the gender pay gap, when we look at statistics, when we look at the numbers and the figures, is is kind of fake. And I say kind of fake because there actually might be something to it. Um, but generally, paying women less for the same work is illegal. Now, we're not going to go into the whole, like, you know, uh, just direct transition translation of gender where it's like you know feminists are trying to compare you know a daycare work or you know a kindergarten teacher to say a nuclear scientist or a nasa engineer or something you know obviously they're not going to make the same amount of money obviously the engineer is going to make more money you know women tend to lean more towards the social um fields of study men tend to lean more towards the STEM fields. And the STEM fields make more money. It's just a simple fact. So when we do a one-to-one -one comparison like this, yes, men do uh, you know, earn more money, but this is rehashing stuff that everybody knows that you know when we take into account for hours worked, time taken off from work due to pregnancy, whatever else, time taken off just for vacation in general, overtime worked, we, we understand that men outperform women in general. And um, it is what it is. But let's let's move on on the possibilities on why there are within some career fields men making more money than women and this does happen still but there's an explanation let me give you an example of uh how things work with men and women i was in qatar i was working in qatar and i was working at an education institute it was like a little side gig there was this asian lady there british asian lady and she was working there too and um one day she just disappeared, didn't see her for a couple of months. Then I was out and I was doing like a um, um, a presentation for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out in like uh, Aspire Park. And it was like a real public event type thing. And she came by and I was like, oh, hey, what's up, lady? She was like, hey, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. We started talking. And I was like, what happened to you? I don't see you anymore at the Institute, you know, teaching. She was like, I opened up my own Institute and, uh, you know, I'm trying to do my own thing. I was like, oh, nice. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm looking for teachers. Are you interested? And I was like, yeah. I said, sure. I said, what exactly are you teaching? She was like, you know, the same stuff you're, you're, you're teaching now, the maths, the sciences, you know, English, anything that the students need um, to improve upon, not just English. And then she was like, um, you know, we're doing similar ages, this, that, the other. We went over like the whole basics. I was like, really? I said, like, what's the pay like? And she was like, she really was like offended. And she said, that's a rude question. I was like, what? and I was now I she was offended. And now I'm incredulous because I'm like, why is that a rude question? I was like, you know, I said, if I can work for you, I said, then there's no way I can work for them. That's a conflict of interest. And it's going to be a conflict in hours anyway, because I only have so many hours in a day. You know, I got my main job and then, you know, I do my little side gig. So I said, something's going to have to fall off. I was like, so I need to make sure that I'm making the best possible choice, you know, in leaving one place and coming to you. And she was like, well, that's rude. I was like, yeah, but it is. I said, have you ever taken a job and not knowing how much money you're going to make? And uh, anyway, things fell off. I never talked to her again. I don't really care. But there's a point to this story. <laughs> but remember this story. We're going to jump to something else. The sexual market. Now, in the sexual market, we know for a fact that women like to be approached. Women don't like to approach. So when it comes down to like, you know, uh, uh, meeting women, Women want to sit back and do the selecting. Males approach, sort of like the animal kingdom. You know, the males with the most colorful feathers, they come and they do the little dance and they spread their tails out. And the females are like, oh, I like those pretty feathers more than those. It's the same thing with humans. This is part of our pair bonding, you know, species aspect of humanity. Women are the sexual selectors in, in, in it that they decide who gains sexual access. They are the sexual gatekeepers. You know, they decide who gets sex. And so women like to sit back and select. And one thing that we've learned through game is women generally want to be liked, loved, picked for their intrinsic values. Who I am. You should love me for me. Love for love. Anyway, anyway, they want to be selected for more than just their looks. Not always, but, you know, for the vast majority of time, when you hear them talk, that goofy talk, they want to be selected for their uh, their intrinsic value and worth as an individual, as a woman. And this is generally why game works, because it sort of hijacks that whole, you know, mentality. But anyway, moving on. Men, naturally, are used to approaching. Because... If nobody approaches, the women aren't going to do it on themselves. They're not going to take it upon themselves. A woman has to have an exceptionally high level of interest in order for her to 
uh, make an approach or she has to be broken to the point where like, you know, she's just been screwing around so much. This is what she's used to now. And in order to get what she wants and she wants a lot of it, meaning like, you know, just straight a whole bunch of, you know, crazy sex all the time. She has to get used to doing approaches. But this is the exception. It's not the norm. Even in those cases where we're dealing with like outright straight slutty whores, they want to be approached. Men, we have to do the approaching. Back to the job market and the comparison. Now, one obvious conclusion you can come to with women waiting to be approached and not doing the approaching is that women fear rejection. They hate it. And they really do. Women, when you deal with, they don't deal with rejection very well. If you've ever rejected a woman, they, they get kind of like crazy, especially when you're someone they really want. Women do not deal with rejection well for whatever reason. Probably because they don't do approaches. Men have become used to rejection because we always have to do the approaching. And so we get used to rejection. And really, as a man, you shouldn't really take it like, you know, as a bad way to be rejected. Just, you know, make your approaches, get rejected. It is what it is. That's how it's always been. So when it comes down to the work world, when it comes down to the employment world, it's a similar layout to the sexual market. Men are used to going out and getting what they want. So they go to the boss and say, hey, you know what? There's a job coming open and I want that job. It's a promotion. I want that supervisor job. Or they will suggest that, hey, maybe this job requires supervision and I want that job and I want more pay for it. Or a man will just go and say, hey, I've been here for so and so many years. I performed such and such jobs and I've given so and so much value to the company. And I think I deserve a pay raise. I'd like one, you know, because this is what I offer in exchange. Women in turn in the job place and i noticed because i'm working in supervised you know supervisory position right now they expect just like in the sexual market to be recognized for the value that they bring to the company and for someone to approach them and say hey here's a promotion hey here's a pay raise hey why don't you take this oh would you like that they expect the same thing and so generally men will progress faster because men we're not afraid of hearing a no we're not afraid of rejection we go to the boss, hey, this is what I offer, this, 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 the other, I want this, I like this, this job's coming open. Nah, I don't think so. All right, fine. Goes back to your job. Then you go find a new one and you get paid more, right? Or you up your game and then the boss pays you more later because he's seen you up your game. Women want to sit back and be approached on the job about getting a promotion. And this is why a man and a woman who start the job at the same time generally don't progress at the same rate. You know, generally, generally, Men progress faster. Okay, this has changed recently because now people are just trying to push women into positions of power and supervision just because it's the trendy thing to do. And, you know, that, you know, it's not really, it's not really smart, but hey, it is what it is. The simple fact is women are used to having stuff handed to them on a platter and that's how their whole life is. And that's how everything's still going right now. Even with this entire change in the entire world, they're still being pushed and just given stuff, stuff they haven't generally earned. You do have women out there who do earn their positions and their places, and I'm not trying to take anything from those women who do that. But the vast majority of the time, you find that men are go-getters. And when we want something, we go get it. And that's why you see a, a discrepancy in gender incomes within similar job fields. It's not because she's not being paid more because she's a woman, has nothing to do with that. It's just, we are intrinsically designed and socialized to different behaviors. And even if you try and socialize women to these behaviors, it's biologically not in their nature to be that way, to be the aggressors. That's what testosterone is for. It makes us the aggressors. It makes us the go-getters. It makes us hunters. It makes us wanters. It makes us those who want more and more and more and more you know and the difference between men and women in their wanting more and more and more and more is men are more apt and more willing to go out and hunt and battle to get it women they want to be recognized for their beauty their character their pro cooperative attributes sometimes you know and um uh you know to get the best because of that it's an intrinsically different uh approach to everything the sexual market and the work market on the job place market so there might actually be, excuse me, whoa, there might actually be something to this entire um, uh, gender pay gap within similar fields, but it has nothing to do with gender in the sense that 
someone's being discriminated against because of gender. It has more to do with the different approaches to uh, these type of situations between the genders. The two genders function differently, period. Anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. This is your man, Abu American. You can catch me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, all at Abu American. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you have a video, I got a request coming up soon. If you have a request video, um, best thing to do is hit me up on PayPal, and I'll get to your video like ASAP. I'm out.